Pavetta and Eddie F. Rush are the other officials. And San Antonio controls the opening tip with Tony Parker bringing the ball into the front court. He's picked up by Chauncey Billups. Ginobili is guarded by Tayshawn Prince. Duncan comes way outside with Wallace on him. And then putting basket of the game, Duncan. Well, what I like to see there on that screen can take you off the dribble. Now Rasheed Wallace, one of the stars the other night. Over Duncan. Ginobili. Stops and hits. All he had to do was give it up, get it back. The defender would have had to commit. And Wallace slows part. Wallace works on Mohammed. And Wallace, a minute into the game, goes to the bench, and there goes Ben. Now Ginobili inside the and step back. He's a very confident guy in the perimeter. Hamilton off the court. Got Phillips posting that and he gets it back. Robert Ory has come into the game for the first time. And on the screen. Ginobili gets a little bit of help. Back out it comes to Barry. And a little pain. Now you see right there, Ben Wallace came out and he forced Barry to make a very difficult shot. I like what will go Ben Wallace on Ory, but then great block by Duncan. Let him go. You keep challenging and force try to put pressure on. This is 14th mate in this series. Since Popovich called that timeout, a 10 0 looking at a two point game. Four. This is Lindsey Hunter. The dice turns around and it back. Hunter never shy to put it up. Underneath Hamilton's town on them. They're either the number one or number two scorer for their team. Near turnover, but Duncan sick. Prince cuts inside. Hamilton will lay it off for McDykes. Hamilton tries to find room, does, and Prince behind his back. Waits to set up. Has a three opportunity. Who got hot in the first quarter? Parker from the corner connect next week, and that will determine. The starters, whether he can coach again. Back by Dillon. Pistons by two. Duncan. Okay. Neither team has scored for over the last three minutes. And even tonight. That must improve as we go along because they're getting good looks. Duncan whips it out to Parker. He passes up the three. The Barry will walk to Brent Barry because five straight years he made over 100 threes and shot over 40 percent. And two game regular season and everybody is leaving it on the floor tonight. I know that's a cliche but there's no other way to put it. Wallace, Ben Wallace. Getting here right now is Detroit struggling getting great looks for threes but Ginobili and Parker only have seven points. Four out of five for the Spurs tonight. One out of seven are the Pistons from three-point land. And another open jump shot, but he'll give it up in traffic. Bowen. Ticking down to two minutes. Yeah, he wants to back down Parker here. And then he lays it off. Everybody, he said she understands. She usually wake up about four o'clock in the morning. She'll see me roll her eyes and just go back to bed. Final minute of the opening half. Nice. Beautiful inside, and this. Duncan off the glass. What a great play by Ben Wallace. But knocked that right to his man. Oh, and a nice pass by him. And Rasheed Wallace with a little spur here. 8.45 remaining in the third quarter, and Detroit has stretched its advantage to five in game seven. Comes Billups the other way for Detroit. The Detroit really running hard here in the open floor. They just keep they keep this up. They're going to open up some easy shots. And McDice, he's got 8.6 rebounds and he's making things happen. Spurs in four and a half minutes are 0 for 7 from the field in this period. And they need nice steal created by Mono Ginobili. Now that's Billups' first turnover in this game. He has six assists. Here's Duncan inside. Gets it back. Puts it. When San Antonio won this game, 
Not there, right here. This is where Duncan was a monster in that second. Nori, each have 10 to lead the Spurs. How, how many? Clean block. I can only tell you, the block, the block shots at each end. Genova. Because of the defense and the shot blocking. Manu for two, 48-46 Pistons. We're already down to 13 seconds. Bullet slip, gets back up. Now we're down to seven seconds. McDice gets free, and he was a shoulder ahead of McDice, but Ben Wallace came in there. Terrific move. Prince pulls up and Prince. Now Prince thought he was fouled. Dick Pavetta told, told Prince that it was a clean block. Duncan, this time he's got Prince on him. And Duncan, that this small unit can defend. But right there, Prince had to pick up Duncan. And Barry is on Rip Hamilton. That, you say right there, he knows he can take him. And Duncan block, excellent. See, right now, as soon, as soon as Hamilton saw Barry on him, you knew he was taking him right to... So you never know how they're going to call it up. With seven, is he doing the job? Duncan now. Tim Duncan. Thanks, one home. They didn't think he was fouled, but there was definite contact. Kapow put it. He's four. Pistons by two, Barry outside. Ben Ball is fighting Duncan. Ginobili drives all the way in. Dissertation of the NBA Finals on ABC continues after this message in a word from our ABC stations. And Duncan gets free and off four on the clock. Now you have plenty of time here right now. Watch, watch the drive and the kick out. Phillips to Prince. There it is. They work it into the corner. From oh, the corner. Wow. Set up for a fantastic finish in game seven. Final shot of the period. Tied at the end of three. Hey, Rip, Rip Hamilton went right into the post and posted up Parker. Duncan. Now just keep an eye. Watch down, down in the corner here. A beautiful feed. Duncan seals off Ben Wallace. Chauncey Phillips. Yeah, they need Rasheed Wallace to come to life here. Come on, time is running it out here now. Five on the clock. Got to be quick. Turned around by Rasheed. Come to life now. He's looking, he checks the clock. Now watch what happens here. It's just a up and up over the top of his defense. Ginobili working outside. Manu starts in. All the way. Ginobili with the dunk. Now watch the hesitation, and then as soon as that defender gave him an alley, he's taking it. He's one of the toughest guys because sometimes he'll continue. Puts it up. Oh, and yes. Big Ben gets another huge offensive board, but then Joey Crawford makes the call. Hamilton on that one. He challenged that one right to the release. Eight and a half left. Ori from the corner for the Spurs. Detroit still struggling in three-point shooting. One for nine. Big difference. Rashid Wallace puts it. Remember he told you about Duncan's offensive rebounding. That's his fifth of this game. Now Bowen from outside. And 13-3 during this final set. Now, once Duncan saw that double team, that ball was going out to Bowen. He, he wants to go into Rashid Wallace, cut through, or take Barry in the one-on-one. -on -one. Rashid over Duncan. He, now you have your switch here now. So you have Prince on, on Timmy Duncan. And you also have two on the shot clock. And from the biggest lead of the game for San Antonio. Now this is just good basketball savvy. Ginobili takes the challenge, and then he kicked back to Duncan. Beautiful. And then drops. Duncan. Puts it on the floor. Lays it off to Ginobili. The two on the clock. Duncan. And now, take the double team and then make that diagonal pass. Once again, Ginobili, that is his 12th three. Another huge possession, and Phillips with a pull up to drop. Under 40 to play. Ginobili. Into the 
corner. Wallace. Bang. Manu Ginobili makes the first. Anyway, but you get the idea. Throw shooter. It's here very quietly out with the five rebounds and the four in half to back up Duncan's production. And Ori has 15 points. And then Hamilton goes off the clock. That was the fourth foul on Paul Bitt. Take a couple of more seconds off. He knows he's going to be four. It is 81. And the San Antonio Spurs with tough, tough, tough. The most valuable player trophy to none other than Tim Duncan. Where are you?